Hi, I'm Adam from DoNoDrama.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the camera in After Effects follow sort of pan along a vine image. Now to start off, we're just going to create a new composition. Oh, come to that's okay. We have our composition here. I'm just going to add the image of the vine. Just This is just a Photoshop brush that I've just made and then um, saved it and dragged it in. I'm just going to scale that up a little bit so we've got something bigger to pan across. Here we go. Now this is our vine and we're going to get the camera sort of panning along the stem hopefully. But to do that first we need two new layers. I'm going to go up and click layer, new and then we're going to create a camera object. Now the camera object will allow us to control the active view in After Effects. And I'm just going to keep it as sort of the default 35mm preset. And now cameras can be a little bit tricky to control in After Effects. So I'm going to create another layer to control the camera. So go to Layer, New, Null Object. This should just make things a little bit easier for us. One thing that you may notice when you first add your camera into After Effects, it didn't do it on this time because I've already created a camera in this session. But when you add a camera, cameras only work on 3D layers. And you might notice that th this is the 3D layer option and it's not selected. So we just need to make those 3D layers. If you can't see this area, check down here. There's a little expand or collapse layer swatch pane, which is just, we'll put those visible if you can't see them. Now, first thing we need to do is we're going to connect the camera to the null object by using this little Pickwick, I think is the technical term here. So click on that, hold down, and then drag to the null object. And now they are connected. So if we move this null object, you can see the camera is also moving. Whereas if we unlink them, and then I move the null object, the null object moves, nothing happens. But with them connected, when you move the null object, it moves the camera as well. I'm just going to get the start position set up and then I'm going to press P for position and click the little stopwatch and it'll set a keyframe and say I want this animation to be about 6 seconds long I'll go to the end and I'm just going to find the end position and don't worry if you want to maybe add a bit more detail we will be doing that shortly I just like to get the beginning and the end set up There we go. Well, that'll do. Oops. As you can see here, we have this straight line animation going on. Now, we might not necessarily want that because we want it to follow the stem. If I go to about, say, here, I'm just going to grab this. When um, an object becomes 3D, you have this sort of green Y arrow and a red X arrow and then you can just about see the blue one which is Z. We're not going to do this anything to the Z axis just yet because we're just panning. Now if you grab to when you hover the mouse arrow over the Y it has a little Y next to it and then over the X it's got an X next to it. When it does that you can click and drag in that direction which alters the X and Y positions over here. Which is very useful. But I'm just going to move that about there and then I'm just going to grab this little arrow here and bend this a little bit and just here as well as one for the other end so that now kind of just curves around with that little bit then this one I want the opposite because I want it going this way over here As you can see this line this is the keyframes that the camera follows you get this nice curved effect and there you have it this is the simple way to pan the camera in After Effects 
Now, combined with the growing vine effect, which I made in a previous tutorial, you can get some really cool effects. Let's open up this composition. Here's one I made earlier. You can get it following the vine as it grows. And then you can add in another little aspect. If you wanted to use the zoom, while the mouse is over the Z axis, you can just grab it and pull it out. You might want to reposition it a bit more as well. And then you've had it zooming out. And you can play around with this as much as you like and you get some really cool effects. I've been Adam from Dunodrama.com and I've just shown you how to pan and zoom the camera in After Effects.